You can use that for a salad. Or mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Um, So my name's John Paul Deneen III. I'm a first generation farmer here in Waxahachie, Texas. We're dry land row crop farmers, raise wheat, corn, milo, hay, uh, run small cow-calf herd. Been farming about 30 years here. You get excited over bread? My name is Heather Deneen. Um, I'm married to my husband, John Paul. We've been married 22 years. He is the hardest working man I've ever met. Uh, we have four children. Our daughter, Lila, is the oldest, and she's a senior at A&M. Um, our next child was our son, Johnny, and he was five when he was killed in an agriculture accident. And then um, our daughter Amelia, uh, she is going to be a freshman in college this year, going to East Texas Baptist University. And then we have our, our baby of the family, uh, JP, and um, he's 13. You know, when God put me with, with Heather, he, he knew what I needed and, and what she needed. You know, it just, it makes a very enjoyable way to go through life, having somebody that you can communicate with and, and share your happy and your sad and your angry, you know, with. Um, salad. Yeah. Just making fun of salad. Being a farmer is, um, it's a great blessing, the lifestyle that we live. It comes with a, a number of struggles, though, too. Some of our greatest blessings and some of our deepest hurts have both come as a result of living a farm life. We were getting ready for uh, spring planting and um, we were doing some preventative work on the planter. We had gone out to uh, change out some wearable bushings, you might say. It's kind of one of those things, that are, they're simple to change, hard to get to. Um, so we had, had dismantled a, a lot of the, the parts, the wheels and stuff on there. We had uh, a couple of jacks under it, uh, holding it you know, in, in good position you know and just basically made a, a quick choice poor choice uh, we'd removed one jack had one jack still holding it um, evidently the ground was shifting you know under that one jack holding the load and went down to look at uh, you know how things were lining up and uh, for whatever reason at the the point that I decided to get in a bad spot reach under there, that one jack that was still holding it up shifted just enough that it completely fell out from under, you know, the frame of the machine and pinned me uh, under the machine, under the wing of it. Railroad blocks uh, that, that were under me caught me right in the, the neck. And so when that folded down and, you know, put the pressure on me, it started squeezing me between the blocks and that deal choking me. It happened quick, but yet it was slow. I remember specifically, you know, it hit me, it, it starting to, you know, squeeze me and choke me and, and sitting there thinking, good grief, you know, I'm gonna go out laying under a planter getting choked.
I was doubled over, so I had been sitting in this kind of a position, and then it hit me on the head and folded me, you know, over this way. And uh, I was on those two blocks. It was it was choking me across the the neck, you know, whether it's intervention, whatever you want to call it. God just uh, gave me the foresight, I guess, to, to just hit on the box and was blessed enough that they buckled uh, like so and, and flattened out to where there was only one block high rather than stacked. That brought the machine down further, but when it did, the machine started resting on the ground and gave me space to get that beam off of the back of my neck and, and shoulders there to where I could start to kind of get out uh, from under the thing. Jump Polly, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. You know, it's kind of a scary thing of all the what could haves, you know could have knocked me out, hit me on the back of the head, could have given me brain damage, could have broke bones either in my neck or my back, could have broken ribs, could have collapsed a lung. I mean, you know, there's just untold, you know, could haves. Certainly there was a little apprehension whenever I had to work under stuff, you know, again. I, I try to look at it or pause a little bit more. When I find myself getting antsy or, or in a hurry, try and, you know, take a deep breath and slow back down because it's, it's not worth that shortcut. I don't know that I ever told him this. That was scary for me because, um, you know, he's he's our our provider. He's our he's our protector. You know, he's he's the head of our home, and so we very much are a team. And I don't I don't know how I would function without him. That's a huge part of my heart. And if something were to happen to him. You know, that would devastate our family. Um, losing our son, um, that was devastating. And, and that is a hurt that we still deal with every day. It's very much on the forefront of my mind and in my heart. There's not a doubt in my mind that God's called us to be farmers. He planted a passion for agriculture and He's shown us, I, I, I call them little gifts, you know. Um, just when you look around and you see the landscape, you know, you see the sunset, you see the sunrise, you see the baby calves, you know, you see the tiny little plants popping up out of the ground, you know, in the row. There's, there's just beautiful moments and God gives us what we need to go on the next year.